Hello, this is Robert Turin. This uh, video is about, uh, this talk is about uh, perspective again. And today we'll talk about color perspective or how to use color to uh, create the impression of perspective. So basically what I'm doing is uh, using pastel here and I'm doing uh, hopefully something that looks like the sky. And then I'm using this color. to do something that looks like uh, either mountains or that looks like uh, like uh, something that's uh, closer to us. Let me use uh, another color. I'm using a uh, dark brown and I'm using, let's say, a dark brown to show something that's really close. So what's the trick here? Well, basically the use of that blue color kind of pushes the color to the back. Uh, this is an obvious example. It's kind of a landscape. It's a quick landscape, but and we know that the, the sky is blue, so that that's I, I chose this subject to make it easy to understand. But basically, you use a colder color, as you as you probably know, uh, colors uh, that are bluish tend to be considered uh, colder, and colors that are reddish tend to be considered warm colors like warm like fire like orange like uh, like uh, you know that kind of red uh, and then blue and cold like uh, ice and like the sky and all that and our brain is used to uh, perceive depth or or it helps when you use colder color in the background and warmer color in the front so this is an obvious example and if i was to really make that sky kind of more uniform and make these mountains here more uniform and all that and do my foreground here it it, it helps with the uh, the impression of depth now of all the perspective trick that might be the one that's the the least reliable because there are many examples what uh, many examples where it doesn't work for example what happens if uh, if uh, you've got uh, somebody wearing a blue dress and the background is red well you can't use just color perspective in that in that case you have to use some other tricks to do perspective but that's what these talks are about i i talk about many more ways to do to do these uh, perspective so this is one of them use it a lot when you do landscape and i'll uh, include at the end of this video a few uh, pictures that i uh, picked up from uh, from books and all that that show how color perspective can be used uh, especially uh, very well in landscape and uh, that's it that's it for color perspective hope you liked it see you soon